Good afternoon, Bogey Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium video, bringing you a team that revolves around Lorantis. Now, this team is from the Rental Codes chat on Discord. If you guys do want the chance to have me play a team that you made here on the channel, go ahead and into our Discord. The link is down below in the description. Join the Rental Codes chat and take a screenshot of your team and put it there, and I might play it. Now, this team is from Spack to Titan, um, and I was immediately interested because I... I I've never played Lorantis, at least not in this series, not in this generation. It's never been a Pokemon that I've tried, but it does get the contrary ability, so it does pique my interest a little bit. We got a bunch of Series 5 Mons here with, um, you know, Incineroar, Tyranitar, Tokus to help kind of support the team a lot. And then we also have the Trick Room option with the Dust Clops just to help the Titar, just to help the Lorantis even. And Lapras with Life Orb. Interesting choice as well. Um... I'm not 100% too sure about this, but I think the point of this team is to is to parting shot into your Lorantis and then that contrary boosts your stats. Is that is that how this works? The only one way to find out who you guys are excited. If you guys are excited to see Lorantis, then go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Getting very, very darn close to 4k subscriptions. And that makes me so dang happy. Anyway, battle time. Starting the day off with some beat up shenanigans. Thankfully, you do have the Togekiss to kind of deal with that a little bit, which makes me a little bit happy. He also does have the Togekiss on his team with the Dust Clops. Our teams are actually pretty similar. We share like three of the same Pokemon. Um, but welcome to Series 5, where everyone shares three of the same Pokemon. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I do think our Tyranitar is going to be really big here. I also do think our Lorantis can be very good. As long as we get rid of that Togekiss with our Tyranitar, like, we'll be fine. Actually, let's do this. Dust Clap Stokus, Lorantis Titar. We won't get to see if Parting Shot, like, starts up Contrary, but I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, like, Contrary in general with a uh, with an Incineroar in the game is still very good. Like, Incineroar will give me my own stat boots. I won't, I won't need the Parting Shot too much. But anyway, common question of the day. In the last video, we asked what Pokemon you are going to, um, was it? You're gonna miss in series in series uh, six. What Pokemon are you happy that are gone in series six? Now a bunch of you guys said that hey, I'm happy all of them are gone. Hey, and if that is your 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 same idea, let me know about it. Now he is gonna leave with the beat up combination. We do have the follow me to kind of prevent it from happening, so I feel kind of confident about this first turn. I think we get the trick room set up. We are pretty golden, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll set up trick room and we will. Follow me. We'll not think too much about it. We'll just um, start by being terrifying. Now, the Dragon Ball could decide to take the Dynamax option spot here, which should be interesting because this is probably going to be a support Dragon Ball, right? Which means it can carry Ally Switch, which can be annoying. Thankfully, we have one less Ally Switcher in the meta. Too bad there's so much more. If a lot of people ask, ask me my opinions on Ally Switch. To be honest, I think Ally Switch is a okay move. I think it's just on too many Pokemon. You get me? When it could be on so many Pokemon, it's really hard to predict. But if it's only on like one, two, three, four Pokemon, you can kind of predict it's gonna happen. Anyway, that's a big Dragapult. So at least he can't ally switch. But setting up this trick room here is gonna be very nice. We might lose our Tokus, but as long as that doesn't rock slide flinch our dust clops, we can win the game. He at least can't beat up himself either. Yeah, we, we're totally losing our Tokus, especially after the negative one we're about to receive. Yeah. Followed by Rockside. Dusclops avoids. Okay, I actually wanted Tokus to go down here. Because that's a uh, that's a free switch in to my, to my Tyranitar, right? Like, this is fine. Look. We get the Trick Room set up. No flinches are happening today. Um, we can bring in the Tyranitar. And then we just go go all in on this Terrakion, I think. We can save the... We can save the big old thing over there for later. We could also ally switch. No, no, we want the Bulldoze. We're going to Bulldoze. Which will break the Sash. And then we're going to max knuckle this... This Terrakion. I want it out of here. His ghost is already on the field. He can't ally switch. He had no other ghosts on his team. Oh, he had Dusclops. Hopefully it doesn't switch. 
I think if we're Dynamaxing already, that means uh, that already means he didn't switch, so that's good. Yeah, we should be golden. Okay, bulldoze. Gonna break any potential sash. Give us our weakness policy. There's no fighting moves in the world that Dragon Pull can learn. I hope. I really do. <laughs> Anyway, Max Knuckle into the Trakion. Hopefully enough to KO it at plus two. More than enough. Nice. All right. Problem gone. Titar is now uncontested on the field right now. And Dragapult, you're next. I got a Max Darkness at plus three waiting for you, Dragapult. It's going to go for the Max Phantasm. This honestly might knock out the Dusclops. Yeah, because the Dusclops was at negative one. But Lorantis is coming in now. <laughs> Dust Clops did its job. Trick Room is up. Bulldoze is done. I'm content. Lorantis. Make me proud. I do have superpower too. So I can use that to raise my own stats. Especially if they lead in with the Incineroar. That'd be so funny. Show me Incin. Dust Clops. Ew. Oh, is he just going to reset the Trick Room? That's no fun. I can't actually hit him for with anything I think I just go for the dust clops here with max darkness I actually can't superpower anything either then this, this is kind of not fun come on Lorantis I'll, I'll just try to leaf blade and darkness into that spot worst case scenario he ally switches but then I just take out the dragon bolt oh no that's no fun that did a lot Wait, what? <laughs> that did so much. This might still take it out at plus three. Cool. Awesome. Oh, crit. We take those. Max Phantasm into the Lantis. We are AV. That hurt a lot, dude. Okay, show me Primarina. Last Pokemon, show me Primarina. It's Primarina, we win. That burn really, really, really sucks. We have one more turn of Dynamax. They just ran out of theirs. Primarina, Primarina, Primarina. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's so good. Okay. Here's the issue, though. He can ally switch. And honestly, I think he's going to ally switch. So... Guys, this is me making a crazy prediction that no one should ever make. I'm going for the ineffective moves on both targets. Predicting an ally. Oh, no. No! That's so bad. That still does half. Ugh. I think I got one turn left to trick him, though. That's like really bad. That was just me making a prediction. It looks it looks like he's phantom forcing. He's a life orb for him. Nope, dragon darts. Okay, that's good. Cause I could rock slide this turn and still win the game. Whew! That was almost terrible. Actually, can I win the game with a rock slide? I hope so. Okay, trick him up. Last turn of trick room. Make it count, boys. Make it count. We gotta hit both rock sides here. Putting our controller down. Faith in RNG. We need it. We need faith. That is no bueno. Just double protect. Okay, no, it's not. We do hit the Dragapult. This will KO the Dragapult. Trick room ends. That's going to keep taking sand damage. We're going to keep taking burn damage. We are still in sand, though. So can we live what this Primarina is dishing out? I don't know. 
But we gotta try. Let's go for our most effective move. And probably our strongest move, which is the Lash Out. We saw how much a Max Darkness did, so maybe this Lash Out will do just enough as well, a plus three. Um, should be fine. We just have to live a single target of Hyper Voice. Or Moon Blast! No! I threw- Oh, it was a crit! I might have lived! Okay, that was a roller coaster game, huh? I shouldn't have predicted the ally switch though, real talk. That that did kind of cost me. Anyway, it was a it was an incredible game. It was definitely an incredible game. We are currently going against a whole team of banned series six mons. <laughs> Every last one of them. Every last one of them. Six of the sixteen, all in one team. That's really interesting. Um, what can we do? Probably a Cinderace lead if I had to guess. Sadly, the Laurentis does like almost nothing for us here. I think Incineroar plus Lapras lead into Togekiss and Titar. Is that a good idea? Incineroar is a must. Especially against that, that Cinderace and all that fun stuff. Tyranitar is a must because of that those fire types and stuff. And I do honestly think that maybe the Dynamax is gonna be the Lapras. Because Lapras kind of needs to set itself in a position to where we can just sit behind Aurora Veil for a while and be okay. Because, as it stands right now, he has a lot of offensive threats on his team that I don't like too much. Uh, if I do see the Rillaboom in the lead, I will hardly reconsider that option. Okay, it's going to be Dragapult Cinderace. We're, we are going to be able to get the Intimidate off. Which is fine. Um, I don't know what Dragapult wants to do to me, but I'm not too afraid. So let's... uh. Let's just go for the parting shot on Cinderace. And then Dynamax, Max Residence, the Dragapult. We'll make Cinderace useless. Or at least attempt to make Cinderace useless while also attempting to get rid of the Dragapult. This is Life Orb with Blizzards. So this might honestly, I, I, I haven't checked the, the stats on this thing, but it very well might be Max Special Attack, which would be nutty. Anyway, Rillaboom is going to come out here. Thankfully, we are, get the, we are getting the parting shot off on, on the Rillaboom, making it negative one, and we can then swap into the Incineroar to make it negative two next turn. That's why Incineroar is good. <laughs> this is exactly why it's good. We can just keep locking people on here with Intimidate spams. Oh, hi, Dragapult. Nice to meet you. You're big. Who would have guessed? Thankfully, a lot of his team is weak to ice. Like, Cinderace is weak to ice if it turns into the flying type, which it likes to. Dragapult's weak to ice. Rillaboom's weak to ice. Whimsicott's weak to ice. So, this is a pretty good time to be an ice type. Okay, Max Geyser. Off on the instant, I guess. We should take this. Did we just get crit? I didn't see that coming. I guess we're not- we're an offensive ensign? Okay. This is like really bad. We are sitting behind a resonance now, but this Rillaboom is super threatening. Let's bring in Togekiss just to make it a little less threatening. Let's just go for... 
follow me with Togekiss, and then... Maybe we just Dazzling Gleam. We'll Dazzling Gleam, and then Max Guard. We'll take a turn to Max Guard. I'm confident, like, if he decides to double into the Togekiss, then that... For one, that's weird. Um, like, one of these attacks at least has to be going into Lapras, right? That does hurt a lot. But as long as we're able to KO this Dragapult here, I feel a little bit more confident. Because then we can just go for the Resonance off on this Rillaboom next turn. Might even KO it considering how much damage we did to that Dragapult at a Dynamax. Wood Hammer. My man's going for the throat. Okay. And single targeted. Oh, that's really good. Oh, he's totally not assault vested, right? That was no crit, too. See, I still don't know that Dragapult's typing. Maybe that Dragapult was just a physical Dragapult, right? Honestly, I saw Woodhammer, so I'm more afraid of this Rillaboom than I am this Cinderace right now. And Cinderace... Oh, that T-Tar. I, I, to be honest, I need, I need to KO both of his Pokemon somehow. But I think the, the follow me is necessary. And resonance into Rillaboom. Re Rillaboom's a bigger threat on the field, in my opinion. At least I know his Dynamax is gone. Oh, Rillaboom has to protect. What set is he? Was he just going to Iron Head my uh, Tokus, probably, right? Went for Bounce. Thankfully, I didn't target that spot, so I still did make the, the correct decision. And my Tokus gets another follow me next turn, so it doesn't actually change much. That's still such good damage through Resonance. I have no idea what this Rillaboom is. Koba Berry? Miracle Seed, maybe? If it has Wood Hammer, then probably, right? Anyway, like... Do we just Dazzling Gleam? I I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. I don't know about you guys. And maybe Heart Swap. To Titar? Who would he go for Bounce on? Togekiss? No, let's not Dazzling Gleam. We're just gonna follow me again. Follow me, followed by Blizzard and start praying. They're both weak to ice right now. We just have to hope we hit this. At least on the Rillaboom. Can we take this? Can we take it because of Aurora Veil? Nice. And then Woodhammer. Awesome. Well, Tokus is going to go down. But if we connect with both of these, it should be a double KO, maybe. Let's get lucky, boys. We got one of them. It wasn't a double KO, but we got one of them. Oh, we needed Rillaboom to go down. Roarville is still up. I'm going to bring a Tyranitar. And protect Tyranitar, since I know that we're super juicy for a high jump kick right now. We could also be super juicy for, like... Hopefully a Woodhammer, if he wants to change his targets for some reason. We'll Parish Song. Oh, actually, I did Parish Song. It doesn't matter, we're going down. I just realized he still has a whole Pokemon left. I'm just hoping for some reason he decides to high jump kick into my Tyranitar. If he does that, then honestly, he might give us a chance. I wish I didn't click my move so fast, for starters, because I, I actually don't want a Parish Song right here. So let's protect. Yes, okay. I jump kick bait. There it is. I'm assuming it's going to Titar. Nope. Nope. Huh. It would have been nice. 
The wood hammer is going to Tito. Okay, so I guess Tito was a wood hammer bait. If I can get a double protect, I have a chance. No, I don't because grassy terrain. Dang it, man. You got rid of the grass from the field. I'm still going to double protect, though. Because if I hit the protect, his Cinderace goes flying into my T-Tar. And Woodhammer only has so much PP. And I feel like he's used it a billion times. He withdraws Rillaboom. Into the Ndidi. We don't have a chance anymore, guys. <laughs> Not that I see, at least. We do hit the double protect, though. Show me the high jump kick. Okay. Something's happening. <laughs> but there's no way we live the wood hammer. This is such an offensive Rillaboom. There's no way we will live the wood hammer. Here's our only hope. Our only hope is Rillaboom and hitting the wood hammer, us living somehow. Um, him going down to recoil, and then Indeedee going down to this lash out. He went for glide? Whoa, 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 was he giving me a chance? No, because indeed he still has speeds and attacks, right? It just goes for what? Oh, that's Dazzle Game. GG. Ah! I can't win! Series set, series 5. Too strong, man. Uh, GG. Another really close game. No, I, I'm committed to winning one with this team. We have to play one more. Okay. This seems a little bit more tolerable. I can digest this a little bit. A lot of fire weaknesses. Um, but I actually do see an opportunity for Lorantis here, which is nice because of the Intimidate and because of all the other fun stuff. Um, speaking of Intimidate, we don't want to bring ours because he does have the Defined on the Pissimian. The T-Tar is a little bit sketch because of that Pissimian also, but I do believe that maybe a Togekiss does collapse Lorantis T-Tar again. Should be a pretty good opportunity for us. How do we rid ourselves of that Rotom? It's gonna have to be the Togekiss, methinks. Let's just hope he doesn't bring it. <laughs> Let's hope for the best and hope he doesn't bring it. My opponent does have Imprisoned Trick Room with the... With the Gardevoir. So that's something to keep in mind. If I see that, I'm not obviously gonna Trick Room. I, I'll probably have to go for something else. We'll see where it goes from there. Or we just have to kill the guard of our first. Guard of our Pissimian. Okay, so we know Guard of War, who's tracing Frisk and is going to learn our items. Like, what's stopping me from just max star falling this Pissimian right here? I guess I should airstream just so I could outspeed the next turn. I'm just gonna Dynamax, yeah. I think Dynamax is a play. Mm. Could bulldoze, but bulldoze does nothing. I'm just gonna hard swap Dust Clops. There's no point in having something that doesn't do anything on the field. So let's actually take this opportunity to go in with Lorantis here. Whose speed I'm actually going to lower with the max airstream. I guess it doesn't make too mi big of a difference. As long as the Togekiss is faster. Because this Simeon's now showing me that he's faster. I don't like that too much. But as long as I become faster next turn. That's not too bad. Now highlight out Pissimian decided to attack the Dusclop spot. It does seem kind of weird to do that. And preserving the Dust Clops with the T-Tar on the back is also something big that I want to do right here. Just because those two together can win games by themselves. Look at those tiny little Togekiss feet. 
I can't wait to never see you again. In prison. Okay. So thankfully we made God of War not do anything this turn. Max Steel Spike. We should take one. Raising his defense is not going to be good. But raising our speed is going to be very good. Because we should just be able to outspeed next turn and knock it out. Nice. Okay, good. Um, we are going to be lowering our lower end speed. Um, but it's okay. That should be all the speed I need to actually outspeed the Simeon, though. So maybe I'll switch to the Starfall now. Just because I can, and just because I don't want to lower Lorantis too much. And now we have Poison Jab. Do we just go for the Poison Jab? Yeah, why not, right? I guess Leap Blade is also good. Let's look at what he has before we make decisions. Honestly, he has a lot of things we can poison, so... Poison Jab just convinced me even more. Lorantis is pretty hefty, too. As, like, a very offensive pressure. Like, an offensive threat. It doesn't really need, like, contrary too much. I mean, it's nice when you get it, but... It's not the end-all, be-all. Oh, look at Lorantis getting covered by the black bar. Gardevoir, where they're getting censored, too. <laughs> Withdraws Gardevoir. Okay. Goes in a Rotom. Oh, so this is perfect. Take this Poison Jab, buddy. Doubles- You just switched out your Dynamax for this? Okay, we get to learn this whole team here. Into T-Tar. This is neutral. I'm- I'm sitting pretty, buddy. I'm sitting nice and pretty here. Yeah, I, we definitely take the good trade here. And we crit it. That's how it feels! To get crit all the time! <laughs> I'm still a little bit salty about the last couple of games, folks. Still a little bit salty. Oh, that feels good. And this is gonna be this is gonna feel good too. Look at this. Let's see how much damage. Half. Breaking it down to citrus if it has it. No citrus. Are you choice scarfed? I think even if your choice scarf's probably outspeed though. All I know is that Lorantis is really happy right right about now. And my opponent has like no way of dealing with T-Tar now. That oh yeah, it does have the Pissimian still in the back. He's gonna actually take the contrary. I don't know if it'll matter too much. But just because the Rotom can't Thunderbolt my Tokus, I'll just airstream the Tok the Rotom. I guess I know it's gonna lower my speed, but at this point it doesn't matter too much. And then I'll poison jab the Gardevoir. Battle is kit! We did it! We won! We won with Lorantis. My opponent gave up really quickly because honestly, that turn two switch was very questionable, John. But anyway, we did it. We won with Lorantis. Lorantis didn't KO anything. It didn't really do damage too much. Tarantar kind of did everything in most of those battles. But we used Lorantis. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Shoot for 75 likes in this episode of VGC. I don't even know what to call this series. Do people title their series anymore? Like, I used to have a series called VGC Prep. Aaron has Road to Ranked. Um, I, I guess that's it. We're gonna call this Rental Code Included because that's pretty much what it is. Anyway, if you guys want the Rental Code, here it is. I hope you guys did enjoy. You know what to do if you did. I'm Kevin. This is Book Sports. Have a great night. Peace out, guys.